Here's a quick video of how to apply the hand truck recall repair for the Costco hand truck that you probably bought at Costco. Emphasis on the T. First thing I noticed is that this didn't come from Costco or Costco, but it came in an envelope from the Doral Juvenile Group. Not sure what that is, but what's inside is what you need. Inside the kit, you will find the instructions, the new parts, a couple of new stickers that you will put on the hand truck, and a letter so you can send back to Costco to verify that your recall has been completed. First step is to remove air from both tires. I'm going to use the top of a Phillips screw head screwdriver to do that. And as you can see, mine were already pretty flat. The next step is to remove the cotter pin from the axle. And you do that with some long nose pliers. Easy. The next step is to remove these bolts one at a time to put the replacement washer in from the recall kit. This can be a little tricky, so I have a uh, wrench with an extender on it that goes there, about 13 millimeter. And I'm using an adjustable wrench here on the front just to hold it. And then you continue, to just take it off, um, and it comes right out. And there is a lock washer there as well. You don't want to lose that. All you need to simply do now is take your bolt, put it in one of the new washers that was sent, put it back through the hole you just did, put the lock washer back on, put the nut back on, and tighten it up. Once again, I'm going to use an adjustable wrench to hold it here in the front, and then tighten. Now you just do this for the next three bolts on this one wheel. So here's basically what's happened. This is what your hand truck wheel looked like before. Just the heads of the nuts. Over here is what it's going to look like when you're done applying the washers. The washer heads behind both the nuts, the, uh, the heads of the, the bolts, and your nuts back here with the lock washer behind it. Apparently all they're trying to do is reinforce this wheel hub here with these washers in case you put a lot of weight on it. I could be wrong, but that's just a guess. So now we're going to do this for the other wheel and we'll start the reassembly. So now both wheels have the reinforcing washers on. We're going to fill the tires back up with air, put it back onto the axle. We'll show you that and we'll be all done. And basically these just need to be reinflated back up to what the tire says, 30 PSI. Now with the tires filled up, we're going to slide them back on to the axle exposing the little hole there. Now I mentioned earlier to save those cotter pins for later. You really don't need to. They do supply new ones. So all you do is slide that back through. Then you take your needle nose pliers and bend everything back just like it looked before. You can actually grab the axle in the middle and that helps bring it down. Hopefully this is clear. Okay, that one's done. So the last step was to apply the warning sticker for overinflating of the tires um, on the side of the hand truck. I'll let you decide whether that's super important to you. Uh, alternatively, you don't have to take the tires off. You actually could get to everything without doing it, uh, but it makes it a little bit easier and faster, and since it's just a cotter pin, um, it's worth doing. So I hope you found this video of how to handle the Costco recall for the hand truck helpful. It's a super easy project, won't take you any time. Uh, Please like this video or subscribe to this channel uh, to see it done, and that way it'll give you all the more confidence to be able to do it yourself. Here's a quick video of how to apply 
the hand truck recall repair for the Costco hand truck that you probably bought at Costco. Emphasis on the T. First thing I noticed is that this didn't come from Costco or Costco, but it came in an envelope from the Doral Juvenile Group. Not sure what that is, but what's inside is what you need. Inside the kit, you will find the instructions, 